I knew my dad was gay before I knew I was. His sexuality was, of course, the big family secret. But it wasn't very well hidden. As a child, I found magazines with pictures of naked women. And then I found magazines with naked men. For me, there was never anything strange about that. When I was 18, I fell in love with a girl for the first time. I told my mom and my sister. I didn't tell my dad. My dad had been living in secret his whole life. He married his first wife in 1959. He was 26 years old and still in art school. A year later, he met Frank. Frank was 10 years older. They met in the street or at the bathhouse. I don't remember. This was my dad's first homosexual experience. Almost 40 years later, I had my first serious relationship with a woman. I knew I had to come out to my dad. And I knew that this also meant I had to tell him that I knew of his desires. This was more scary than to tell him of my own. I have met somebody, I said. It's a woman. Ah, that's good. That's good, he said. And I know of you, I continued. He laughed short. Ha ha ha. I love women, he said. Okay, if you say so, I said. But my sister also knows. I think this short dialogue, spoken in a car, in a white Volvo, parked at the train station, changed my dad's life. During the years that followed, my relationship to my dad grew deeper. We talked. I asked him questions and he asked me. He was already in a wheelchair then and couldn't leave the house a lot. The photos I showed him of my life in Berlin made him happy and, I think, a bit envious. Feel free to bring anybody you know to my place, he said, and smiled upon seeing pictures of my gay male friends. And then he gave me the folder. It was an old folder. It was red. It contained letters from Frank, in see-through plastic pockets, each with a small black sticker with a number on. Read them if you want to, he said. The first are really nice. Then it gets a bit boring. In 2004, my dad died. When me and my sister sorted through all his belongings, we found more letters from Frank. Everywhere, hundreds of letters. Mostly from the 60s, but also from the 70s. The last is from 1985. My dad lived in secret most of his life. But at the end, he got the opportunity to be open about who he was. I forced him to do it but he liked it. He showed me more of himself than I had ever expected. 